हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑडो ट्रेंड टीवी आई एम यू विप्र जेश अगैन फ्रॉम सी ए आई महिंद्रा कार शोरूम यार टुडे एंड आई एम हियर विद द बी एस कंप्लाइंट महिंद्रा एक्स यू वी थ्री डब्लू कॉम्पैक्ट एस इन इट्स मिड स्पेक डब्ल्यू एट वेरियंट नाउ दिस डब्ल्यू एट वेरियंट इज द बेस्ट सेलिंग वेरियंट ऑफ द महिंद्रा एक्स यू वी थ्री डब्लू कॉम्पैक्ट एस यू वी एंड दिस एक्स यू वी थ्री डब्लू इट सेल्फ इज करंटली द बेस्ट सेलिंग महिंद्रा इन इंडिया टुडे एंड दिस कार गेट्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द फीचर्स you need on a premium compact SUV such as the looks of course it looks really great and properly butch despite being a small compact SUV starting with the details of course this being one variant lower to the top spec W8 optional variant you still get LED DRLs which of course as you can see have got a signature design to them and look really really unique you get projector headlamps as standard on the top spec W8 and W8 optional variants and you also get the chrome detailing on the upper and lower grille alike now this fog lamp is a little bit small but still you get fog lamps as standard on these top spec variants so you get almost all the features you need on this uh, front part now coming to the sides of course this is not a dual tone alloy design the dual tone 17 inch alloy wheels are available only on the w8 optional top spec variant but still you get 17 inch alloy wheels as standard on this variant itself and these also look pretty good now one big benefit of the xuv 3w is that you get all wheel disc brakes as standard across all variants so this is the only compact suv in india today to provide all four disc brakes well the s cross is clearly one segment higher despite providing all wheel disc brakes so this is an under 4 meter suv and this is the only under 4 meter suv to provide all wheel disc brakes now moving on towards the sides of course as you can see this not being the top spec w8 optional variant you get roof rails but still uh, these are black in color the w8 optional gets silver finished roof rails which look even better and uh, on the sides you can clearly get to see the sangyong tivoli roots over here as you already know the xuv 3w is based on the sangyong tivoli which is already on sale abroad and uh, the quality is clearly evident you get nicely proportioned front with a nicely proportioned cabin however the rear as you can see clearly looks like it's been truncated uh, to fit under 4 meters now moving on towards the back the back however is pretty good to look at yeah the tail lamps are of course really nice with led detailing all around and uh, it is properly a good looking car from all angles except for certain angles say the rear three quarters as you can see this car looks a little bit on the truncated side and the bumper of course at the back feels like it has been truncated clearly these top spec variants of course get dual tone uh, bumpers beat at the front and the back true to the suv looks you of course get a four skid plate design at the back despite being fiber so in terms of features you get four reverse parking sensors as standard across all variants whereas uh, from the mid mid spec variant itself you get rear fog lamps as standard along with a reverse parking camera which is available only on the w8 and the w8 optional variants and you of course get a rear windshield wiper washer and defogger only on the top spec w8 and w8 optional variants so that was all about the exterior looks of the mahindra xuv 3w best selling w8 variant now let's just get inside to check out what are the differences on this bs6 version yes folks right now i am inside the new bs6 compliant mahindra xuv 3w compact suv w8 mid spec variant this may be one variant lower to the top spec w8 optional variant but still it is loaded to the gills with features let's start with the steering wheel of course you get a superb quality leather wrap steering wheel with perforated finish on the sides so that your hands never sweat so that is quite nice attention to detail and you also get this superb quality silver finish on the uh, steering wheel itself which is nice to look at this finish is exclusive only for the top spec w8 and w8 optional variants and you also get steering mode audio controls on the left side along with cruise control functions on the right side which is really good to have along with that you also get automatic headlamps automatic wipers uh, and of course front and rear fog lamps as standard on this variant including led drls so that is quite nice to have immediately it feels like a proper premium compact suv and this steering wheel of course gets tilt adjustment as standard despite not having telescopic adjustment the overall position is quite comfortable because the driver seat of course is easily adjustable for height as well so that is quite nice talking about the instrument cluster let me just turn on the ignition because it is quite hot today let me just show you the keys first 
now these here are the smart keys for the xuv 300 of course these keys are exactly the same as seen on the mahindra alturas as well because both of course are based on their korean counterparts from sangyong so the key is reasonably nice and it also gets a flip key integrated just for emergency purposes and that is quite nice let me just place the keys over there and turn on the ignition of course this car also gets a push button start so of course i have turned on this engine and uh, this as you can see is clearly a 1.5 liter diesel engine equipped xuv 300 w8 variant and that is the reason the rpm meter the tachometer shows only 6000 rpm max if it was a petrol it will easily show around 8000 rpm because petrol engines are more free revving this instrument cluster of course gets uh, multiple color options for back lighting uh, as you already know on the xuv 300 and along with that this mid also shows you whatever details you need such as trip meter a trip meter b average economy gear indication and uh, average mileage as well so that is an instantaneous mileage as well so in order to control the mid you have the buttons weirdly on the center console which is quite weird as i already said you have distance to empty instantaneous efficiency you even have a digital readout for the speedometer that is the temperature gauge and you have the settings through which you can set the lightings the ambient lighting for the instrument cluster as well so it is nice but it could have been a little bit more advanced and modern by providing uh, say a color display such as on the hyundai venue or even the upcoming kia sonnet so these are certain things which can be easily overlooked now coming to the center console of course this car gets the highlight feature never before seen on a compact suv you get dual zone climate control as standard on the w8 and the w8 optional variants as you can see you have two different temperature controls for both the sides the driver and the passenger and you can set uh, different temperatures for the driver and the passenger so that is quite nice to have this may be a fancy feature but still it is preferred by many people so that is quite nice to have just above that you get the touchscreen system which is seven inch in size and this system also offers android auto apple carplay as standard as you can see this system is available from the uh, w6 variant itself however the w6 variant does not receive a reverse parking camera uh, this car however gets a reverse parking camera which i'll activate right now so that is Please the reverse select parking the parking mode if you need assistance so that is the reverse parking camera display and it also gets adaptive guidelines on this variant as well which is quite nice to have and if you want certain guidelines for say parallel parking Align or the uh and uh, till you find a click perpendicular parking you can also have that options as well the quality is decent and the clarity is also adequate as well you of course get other things on this touchscreen system such as eco sense where you can monitor your driving skills say by uh, parameters such as speed gear acceleration idling acceleration and all uh, so you even have certain uh, memory charts the trip history economy and all those things breaking you can judge uh, whether your driver is driving well or not and you can even uh, judge your driving through this as well so there's these are quite nice apps to have the system itself is pretty smooth much smoother than before the ui has been improved in terms of response and you also get an e-manual thing and you also get navigation as standard inbuilt into this system of course these are not the best uh, not great as uh, when you compare with the google maps of course people who like google maps will prefer using android auto or apple carplay but still the navigation in the system is pretty good so that was all about that in terms of audio quality you of course get bluetooth connectivity and you have six speakers as standard on this variant which sound okay not the best but still they sound reasonably good uh, of course people who are audiophiles will definitely upgrade to better sounding speakers so that is another thing to note now enough about the touchscreen system uh, let's just come to other features of course this here is the six speed manual transmission on this diesel variant only the diesel versions of the xuv 300 get a six speed amt on the w6 and the w8 variants uh, however i don't think it is that essential because this manual itself is pretty good to drive and the clutch also is reasonably light uh, for daily usage but still if you want to prefer a diesel amt better go for the w8 amt 
so that was all about that you get nice chrome finish all around and this silver finish is carried on towards the center console as well just uh, below the dual zone climate control console you get two usb ports one is for usb connectivity and one is for charging and at the center is a aux port and this here is a 12 volt charging socket and this here is where you can store your either keys or your smartphone and this panel over here is properly rubberized with a partition for your coins or other stuff maybe so it is nice and uh, just behind the gear lever you get this rubberized cup holders everything is nicely rubberized in this car so that whatever you place over here does not get scratched even the cup holders over here while they may be a bit shallow and a bit small they are rubberized and nice in terms of detail this armrest over here can be opened and over here as well you can see felt lining inside despite not having any cooling function you have reasonable space over here and if you want to place your smartphones while they are being charged from that uh, socket over there using wires uh, as you can clearly see this panel is open so that even while the wire is flowing through here it will not hamper the wire or damage the wire you can close the armrest and keep your hand over it so this is quite nice attention to design and detail talking about attention to detail this car has got really good quality overall the cabin is beautiful in terms of materials even the leather on the steering wheel the dashboard plastics everything feels properly built everything is solid and gives you a reassuring feel say that was the door sound and it feels properly solid this is a five star rated car in terms of safety and that is the feel you get even the buttons for the power windows they are very very robust and solid in terms of feel everything works so premium of course this car also gets auto folding orvms which is quite nice to have and of course is now becoming standard across all compact suvs and everything in this car feels properly beautiful including these plastic uh, door handles these are not metal these are plastic but still they feel so robust and so beautiful in terms of quality every button in this car is really well built now in terms of other storage options you get this reasonably sized glove box which goes deep inside uh, to the dashboard and it also gets an interior lighting which uh, weirdly can be only uh, lit can be only illuminated only if the headlamps are turned on as you can see if i turn off the headlamps the light gets turned off automatically which is nice attention to detail however uh, some people would like it to be on always or connected to this lid so it is nice but still could have been a little bit better i don't know it's a purely personal choice now in terms of other features you get a day night switch for the irvm and the uh, visors for the driver and the passenger gets vanity mirror including a smart light as you can see even the driver side gets a smart light which is connected to this lid for the vanity mirror all these is really nice uh, attention to detail and you also get a sunglass holder with beautiful uh, felt lining on the inside and these here are the lights for the cabin as you can see these are yellow lights but still they are totally fine i would have preferred led white lights but still these are completely fine and that was all about that and of course talking about the main marketing feature of the xuv 300 you of course get multiple drive modes for the steering wheel which can be controlled using this button over here you of course get the normal mode sport mode and the comfort mode the comfort mode means you can basically use the steering wheel using just your little finger it is that light it's beautiful for city use and if you change it to say normal mode let me just change it to normal mode okay so this is the normal mode it becomes slightly heavier for average usage say mixed conditions uh 50 percent city 50 percent highway so this is good uh, for that and if you are into purely highway driving say aggressive driving the sports mode gives you the maximum weight on the steering wheel it definitely feels the weight the steering wheel becomes clearly heavier translating to better feedback on uh, higher speeds so this is quite nice to have so that's all about the features at the front now talking about the seats of course these are beautifully comfortable well bolstered and uh, even though these are just fabric you get contrast stitching in white which is quite nice to look at the top spec w8 optional variant gets uh, sort of off-white color for the seats with leather upholstery 
um, I think this looks better than that and this feels better than that because leather obviously becomes hard and feels hard on longer drives whereas fabric is very very nice you of course can opt for various other aftermarket seat covers uh, according to your wish so that was all about the features at the front now let's just have a look at the back seats yes folks right now i'm in the back seat of the mahindra xuv 300w8 mid-spec variant and this is clearly the dashboard of the w8 variant it is loaded to the gills with features despite being a mid-spec variant and not being the top spec w8 optional variant now the w8 optional variant obviously gets an electric sunroof along with uh, say leather upholstery and all but still this variant also gets dual uh, zone climate control automatic headlamps automatic wipers led drls and so on which is really good and uh, coming to the back seats of course this here is the space on offer it is pretty good in terms of space you can stretch out over here that is good enough foot room underneath the front seat and you also get a seat back pocket as you can clearly see however my only grouse is that the thigh support is clearly inadequate the seat squab extends only till this much and that as you can see is clearly not enough for my long legs uh, it still is uh, just about halfway there but still the backrest angle is pretty good and you also get a middle adjustable headrest for the middle passenger which is a unique feature to have and no other compact SUV offers in this category. The W8 optional variant uh, also offers a 3 point seat belt for the mid passenger which also is a unique feature not seen on any other compact SUV but this W8 variant does not have that. Uh, however you get a center armrest which can be folded and also gets couple cup holders as you can see uh, this cup holder thing over here also is sort of felt lined it is sort of rubberized and it is nicely ergonomic to be positioned uh, so that it's at par at the level of the door armrest so that is nice attention to detail you also get iso fixed child seat mounts as standard across all variants integrated uh, into the seats into the back seats especially and in terms of other safety features the xuv 300 gets dual airbags abs ebd corner braking control along with engine immobilizer pretensioner equipped seat belts as standard across all variants however uh, if you already have seen the w8 bs4 variant that variant used to provide electronic stability program traction control with hill hold control as standard however this bs6 version weirdly does not have that feature let me just show you that and for showing you that i may have to get out of the rear seats now if you uh, may have already seen the w8 variant uh, you would have noticed the electronic stability program traction control button on the right side of the steering wheel in this console just above the start stop button but this being the bs6 w8 variant does not have that feature weirdly it seems like uh, mahindra have cut down on electronic stability program and traction control on the w8 variant only the w8 optional variant offers electronic stability program as standard uh, however if you want electronic stability program on your uh, xuv 3w w8 variant you have to opt for the amt version only the amt versions of the w6 and the w8 xuv 3w offer electronic stability program with traction control and hill hold uh, on this bs6 version i don't know why i don't know why they have done this but okay fine that is another thing to be noted now coming back to the rear seats of course these are reasonably good in terms of space and could have been better in terms of comfort that is what i feel apart from that you get one liter bottle holders as standard across all uh, variants on all doors and you of course get really robust feeling power window buttons with piano black finishing on the panels itself and you of course get a sort of uh, art leather finish on the armrest with nice cushioning on all doors which is nice attention to detail and reasonable in terms of comfort the rear seats also get their individual cabin light which is also a good thing now that was all about the rear seats of the xuv 300 w8 variant now let's check out the boot space Opening the boot of the Mahindra XUV 300, of course, no surprise over here. The XUV 300 is the only compact SUV in its category to have the least amount of boot space. You get only 257 liters of boot capacity, even though you adjust the boot floor. Of course, the XUV 300 on the top spec variants get an adjustable boot floor, which still is not adequate. As you can see, you, uh, if you adjust this, 
it becomes even less the boot space becomes even less however the advantage of uh, adjustable boot floor is that if you fold flat the rear seats uh, it gives you a sort of a flat ish loading bay for your larger items so this is the only advantage of the xuv 3 w and even if you increase the uh, say the luggage space by adjusting the floor it is clearly not enough it is uh, easily around 100 liters less than say the tata nexon or even the ford ecosport and the hyundai venue and of course the kia sonnet which is soon to be arriving has got 392 liters of boot space which is uh, which is simply another level and this clearly is no match for that so if you are buying an xuv 3 w you clearly have to plan your luggage in terms of the spare wheel accessing as well the spare wheel is clearly located under this boot floor which as you can see is not the easiest to remove and if you remove the spare wheel you get to see a 16 inch steel rim as uh, standard on this top spec variant uh, the w8 and the w8 optional variants provide 17 inch alloy wheels however you still get a 16 inch steel rim only which is clearly okay and uh, yeah that's it so all the toolkit and jack are provided in that area itself so that was all about the boot space of the xuv 3 w now let's talk about the engines and the pricing yes folks now i'm going to open the bonnet of this xuv 3 w bs6 diesel w8 variant and a nice feature i would like to point out on the xuv 3 w is that if you open the bonnet the hazard lamps automatically come on on all variants of the xuv 3 w oh, let me just pop open the bonnet and oh my god it is quite a heavy bonnet it is quite large and very very heavy which is clearly obvious on a five star rated compact suv now this here is the 1.5 liter four cylinder m falcon series derived turbo diesel engine which produces 115 ps of maximum power the petrol version on the other hand is a 1.2 liter three cylinder turbocharged uh, petrol engine which produces 110 ps of maximum power and uh, both engines are beautiful in terms of uh, torque and power delivery the petrol one itself produces around 200 newton meters of torque whereas the, this diesel one provides 300 newton meters of torque and both the engines are absolutely enjoyable with almost zero turbo lag and great tractability so this engine is now bs6 compliant along with the petrol engine that is also bs6 compliant however my only grouse is the deletion of electronic stability program from this w8 variant let me just show you the abs unit on this car as you can see that is the abs unit and uh, clearly a few wires are missing over there on the w8 optional variant you get electronic stability program whereas this w8 bs6 variant does not that is quite a thing to be noted and that was all about the engine bay it is great in terms of refinement as well be it the petrol and the diesel there is great amount of padding under the bonnet and it is of course damn heavy so that was all about the engine now let's talk about the pricing so that was all about the bs6 compliant mahindra xuv 3 w compact suv in its w8 variant now we all know why this w8 variant is the best selling variant of the xuv 3 w that's because it has got all the essential features right along with certain fancy features and it also looks as good as the top spec w8 optional variant only if you want an electric sunroof and leather upholstery you will have to opt for the w8 optional variant and of course if you want the option of seven airbags with traction control as well it seems like you have to opt for the w8 optional variant only but still for the price and especially the price reduction which has happened recently this car is now more value for money given the performance it offers and the solid robust engineering it offers so do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the mahindra xuv 3w w8 feature loaded variant meanwhile this is viprajesh signing off see you on another video thank you for watching